Ayam and Bhanamati. Good afternoon. Yeah. Today's topic is sentiment analysis with attention in RNN. And, uh, Sentiment analysis refers to use of natural language processing, text analysis, and computational linguistics to identify and extract subjective information in source materials. Sentiment analysis is the process of determining whether a piece of writing is, whether it is positive, negative, or the text, what it means. Sentiment analysis system for text analysis combines the NLP, that is natural language processing and machine learning techniques to assign weighted sentiment scores to the entities, topics, themes, and categories within a sentence or phrase. When you have a sentence, so that sentence, it shows some sentiments like positive or negative or neutral, something like that. For example, good, bad, some words in the senti uh, sentence, it will reflect the um, sentiment of that particular sentence, right? Not all the words mean the same, will have the same weightage. Okay. So for sentiment analysis, uh, in deep learning, neural networks where RNNs are used mostly for this one. So RNNs is a neural network where, yeah, this is the architecture of the RNN for sentiment classification, where that each word of the sentence will be sent, uh, um, uh, will be, sent through the uh, encoder and it will be decoded and the result will uh, the uh, sentiment of that particular sentence will be outputted whether it is negative positive or neutral or some other sentiments we or some other thing which it shows off usually for small sentences or in rnn what actually happens is I, uh, here it will go by the time sp steps. So my uh, current time step will have the information from the previous time step and its output of the uh, previous current uh, step, then the current input will have the previous information also. So actually here for small sentences, or for long text, it will have some problem as it carries only the information from the previous side. Only previous information will be carried, not the previous to previous or earlier information will not be carried. So to this, is, this was a limitation of the RNN to outcome that one, LSTM that is long long short long short term memory mechanism was used, but still it had some limitations. When the center or text is very long, so the full information of that sentence was not carried through because for that I can. Uh, attention mechanism has been used. Initially, it was used for machine translation. Same concept has been <clears throat> taken for, yeah. 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 Yeah, it can't carry the full information. It carries. 
like paragraphs <clears throat> where the length of that uh, text is very big so then even the rnn it has the vanishing gradient problem so for that attention mechanism has been used yeah this is the architecture of the attention mechanism attention it is a layer it is an interface between the encoder and decoder so information from the encoder will be passed to the attention layer then from attention layer uh, decoder will take the information and gives the output here in sentiment analysis <coughs> actually here um, machine um, machine will not understand that how humans we understand the text see some words we will by some words we will say that that a sentence will give the um, positive or negative sentiment but same thing can't be done with machine so machine everything it understands with numeric data so here uh, encoder encodes that text into numeric data so that data will be passed to the attention layer where the attention layer will gives will give uh, some weightage to particular words or some part of the information so that will be picked up from the decoder so where att uh, attention layer gives the inf information which will have the summarization of that particular text whether it may be paragraph or full sentence and all so he, from there decoder takes that information and gives the output predicts the output <clears throat> no, attention is nothing but like a uh, weight and matrix basically for every single word how much attention uh, you should be paid. How much attention you are paying. Like it is a good thing. Yeah. Initially so it was mentioned. It will be embedded to. So there you are not decoding, but you are encoding. Ah, yeah, you are. Ah, yeah, in that case you encode, then after that you apply attention to the the mechanism. And. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, attention basically what it does is if you have a long sentence like um, um, I went to school and I played football there right so um, what it, what attention does is I, I played football there now where is that there so that attention in that case will be uh, required at the school Yeah, if you want to do sentiment analysis or some kind of analysis for these sentences. Actually, See, the way you use it was is a classification problem. So finally you will be ended with the... Yeah, addition mechanism, it will create a context vector. But, no, addition is not used in class. Yeah. No, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. It is like 
attention is all about uh, see lstm uh, carries knowledge of 256 volts okay but now if you are using normal lstm that is saying that all 256 words are useful 100% attention is has to be given uh, what attention does is it does a uh, this one a normal distribution over the 256 and it doesn't give 100% attention to every word. To all the words. So in only for certain words you will get very important attention. That's what we are talking about. Yeah. Where the full information of that particular text is carried. That semantic thing. That meaning of the thing, uh, sentence or text. Sarcasm like that. Yeah, positive and negative. I'm good. I can't see it. Positive and negative as well. So in that case, yeah. I'm not sure attention can be used for classification. Attention is more of use for like uh, translation. Yeah. Translation. In, where you are... Initially, it was used for that one. Same yeah. con concept has been taken for sentiment analysis. You never tried for classification. Maybe it can be done. Feedback analysis. Yeah, Wherever analysis you are trying involved. to do for positive negative like exactly, that. Correct. Yeah, that is classification. So classification normally they help you out. Point B. Uh, I don't think you know you need attention directly. No, one question I had asked was can I use attention just for encoder or decoder and I don't have a decoder in mind? <coughs> is there any relevancy or even applicability of I've even seen any such scenario, but I was not sure. Even I don't think uh, you can use the attention is mostly we give the weightage to the, the particular words. keywords. Uh, so that's the main purpose. But uh, yeah, it can be done, but yeah. maybe it's not required. Yeah, it's definitely not required. Initially, it was uh, this um, attention mechanism was used for translation purpose. Yeah, yeah translating from one language to other one. So everywhere yeah. encoder decoder is used. Encoder only encoder. I'm not sure. Actually, right in attention, is, uh, output of the attention is the context vector. Yeah. Uh, correct context vector. Exactly. Without this, uh, it was output would be vector itself, right? This is the one. <coughs> Yeah. Word. Right. Now on board, we see the attention mechanism to give more weightage to certain words. Keywords. Yes, keywords. So we see more weightage to certain words. Yeah. Keywords. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what uh, we apply all the context vector itself. We do not, uh, I mean, we have to form the context vector. Right? Like this is the that's how uh, all the uh, I mean, attention yes, yeah. Yeah. mechanism works. Right. Yeah, this is the equation which works for context vectors. Yeah, this is the equation which has been worked uh, to get the attention or attention score of that particular um, keywords in the sentence or text. So the words which get the high, high attention score will have will have their score. The scores with low at, uh, attention score will be nullified to zero. So decoder will take one uh, words or context vectors which have the highest score. Yeah. Then the sigmoid is applied that over that one. So alpha parameter is formed regarding this is the Attention calculation, how it happens. So, sort max is applied over the sigmoid. Yeah, this is the maths involved into this. Does everyone know what is attention? Okay, very 
simple example I would give. So, Bhanamurthy is teaching. She is writing something on. Uh, she is writing something on paper. So there are two sentences. Bhanamurthy is teaching. She is writing something on paper. Uh, yeah, come here. So, so I'm just giving an example about attention. So attention basically means, like I'll give an example. So th there are two sentences. One is like, Banumuth is teaching and she is writing on paper. As a human, we know what she represents to. She is representing to Banumuth. But for an RNN, how a RNN would see the this one, it is nothing but it goes word by word to a computer. So every single word has been fed into word. So when she is fed into the computer, she is treated as some, some new word. Some new word. So how will you relate she and Banamati? So LSTM will fail. LSTM can't do it. LSTM will say that Banumati is one unique word. She is separate word. So there is no interrelation. Maybe later we have to do a bit of a other calculation to give a relation between she and Banumati. So that is why um, this one is attention was introduced. Attention is basically what it does is it does interrelation between every single word with every single other word. So it is like two sentences are given. So it will generate scores or relationship between every single word. With it. Yeah, it does that and finally gets the, gets the score. So she and the Banumati will get a higher score. So these two in one single vector will have a high score. So when she is being taken over there, when you're doing translation, she will be translated to Banumati. Reference. They're not correlated, they're, they're related, right? Co reference is the word used in NLP. Co reference. Words, which is certain words which are giving more attention, basically more awaited. Yeah, and one more thing is what say there is no need of removal of stop words in case of attention mechanism. Normally in NLP task, we do like removal of stop words. Stop words is nothing but the words which doesn't give any value to the sentence. So and the uh yes, all those and all, all these conjunctions were doesn't give any value. Normally for NLP task like classification, we remove the stop words before uh, feeding into it. So in attention that automatically gets taken care so the uh, all the stop words will get very low values and when you're doing a softmax it gets nullified so those values doesn't give pops in and and moreover how this helps in lstm is lstm works well only for past 256 words let us say in the past 256 words there are some 100 stop words are there if you're not using attention then you're losing out 100 stop words like useless so when you're doing attention 256 Actual words, actual uh, 256 uh, meaningful words will be fed into the machine and stop words will be removed. That's basically what's happening. Yeah. Alpha is the weightage, yeah, which she gets, yeah. See here, the amount of attention each word gets is the calculation which happens regarding this. If you have Tx input words, then Ty output words, then the look, total attention parameters will be Tx by into T. Yeah. 
So if I have 100 input words and 200 output words, so total uh, variable permutation will be 100 into 200. Right? So many yeah. This is the architecture for sentiment analysis with attention in RNN. See, actually, machine translation and all output will we have number of outputs. But here in sentiment analysis, we will be having only one output. It can have many inputs, like sentence which will consist of more more than one words. So here all the uh, information in the sentence will be concatenated and um, into the matrix. So the output of that matrix will be single value, where it will have this one. Here, this is how the calculation for e one minute. Here in this sample model, this is a sample model structure showing the sentence embedding model combined with a fully connected and softmax layer for sentiment analysis. The sentence embedding M is computed as multiple weighted sums of hidden states where the summation weights are computed in a way illustrated in B. This is for single thing. where blue color shades stand for hidden representation, red color stand for weight, weights, annotations, or input. This is the architecture of RNN, where attention is applied for sentiment analysis. This one, M matrix. Yeah, it will be an interface between the encoder and decoder. At the end of the decoder. Yeah, we wait, uh, this It will we have the information. Can happen. Yeah, correct. Because uh, how our attention is built up is basically uh, in the training set. In the training set, we give uh, that is a language sample. We give English sentence and we give Spanish sentence. Decoder, decoder, decoder. So both does exactly. Both are Yeah, single output. Yeah, even three classes, it one at one time it will be a single one, yeah. single output, right? In machine translation and all, words will be translated. Multiple that? output will be there. But here, uh, that uh, text. It will be whether it will be classified as whether it is positive, neural, or negative. So output will be single value. That's it. But this is a very straightforward uh, sentence which brings a positive. Uh, yeah, for this uh, complex sentence uh, which 
from which you should evidence whether it's an original copy and mm -hmm. uh, what the what the output should be, how that is so you get a percentage this. So positive how much percentage you get Normally the output will be like that. Positive negative number, positive so much percentage, negative so much percentage. So 50-50 minutes can be that. So it depends on your threshold. So here, uh, attention weights will be taken by the decoder, whichever the words have the higher attention weights. So that notation or that sentiment will be uh, taken as out. Yeah. yeah, where the text uh, will is more, it has the yeah, length of the text is more. Or in paragraph, or some documents also. No? Even uh, even for the net editing, it also depends. Uh, yeah. So training data. Huh? Training data is decoder. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. happens is that is English is a Spanish language. English is encoded to some numbers. Yes. Spanish is encoded to uh, some numbers. These two numbers are uh, related and uh, correlation methods are formed. So that is the attention method. So, so how this number is related to this? Setting and what is the decoder input? Uh, that's why it's a new thing. So, input sentences for the in input to encoder. For decoder, is there any, any input here or no input? Decoder so should be a label, right? There will be input input to the decoder, but I, and right now I'm also not sure that what kind of input that is going to be there. So there is an input from the encoder. So like the values that we uh, generate from the encoder network, we have to feed into the decoder to get the context your meaning between those sentences. So I'm just trying to see this diagram. Decoder is there any input going into what is going to be yeah. encoder? We had a nice experience in the restaurant. So, uh, which part is decoder? This part is the decoder. No, this is only no, encoder. Only encoder. Okay, okay. Only encoder. So, decoder is not show, even shown here. There are no decoder like this because those are labels like this. The last where is the decoder? This one? Yeah. This is the attention mechanism where? You are saying this is the decoder? No. Usually, see where you, uh, online you get many architecture for uh, this one translation thing. Yes, even I checked, I have one. Minute. Yeah, here, this is an animation for a attention mechanism for a translation purpose, which was used. No, it's okay. All this happens. One or zoom it. Just open that. <laughs> what to <laughs> hey, it's working, yeah? It's working. <laughs> no. See by side is also animation is there. Yeah, 
Yes, you see. So how the attention is paid? Then scores. This one, towards data sense. Yeah, not that one. No, I took it. This is shown from data towards data, data science. Paper, the PDF. PDF. You can tap on the code. No, uh, this, this figure you are asking. Yeah. 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 What is the paper number? What is the paper number? 1703. Zero Samples which are available online, all of our uh, translation purpose. Yeah. In here. The same concept this has been used. For, uh, this yeah. So, okay. We're showing this animation, right? is how the full attention mechanism works. the film looking of attention search for attention is all you need that paper is better they also there that has been used for translation yes so many all are being used yeah we continue. Yeah. Yeah. Be, before. Encoding is nothing but embedding variable. Encoding decoding is nothing but embedding variable. Encoding is nothing but what is the variable? Text to some number line. That is embedding. That is also encoding. Decoding is number to text. Actually, machine understands only the numeric data. Mm -hmm. So, what it understands, we should give, right? Mm -hmm. Network, you are getting that counter. I mean, it comes out that by encoding numeric data. Yeah, so is looking at it's itself. Yeah, so it's, 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 it
No, here in attention also we have different types of attention. Uh, I'm not going into I that one. Self attention or multiple you know, yeah. soft, hard yeah. attention and all. So I'm not going everything into that. This uh, uh, self attention is a variation of attention. That's it. Yeah, this is the architecture where used for sentiment analysis. So where here Initially, it was used for translation purpose only. Right. So, same concept has been taken for sentiment analysis. So, in a uh, translation, we will be translating each word to a different language from one language mm -hmm. to other language, right? So, there also we need the information of that particular text. So here also in sentiment or, uh, or to get the sentiment, we need the information from the text. That thing has been taken here. So on that information, the sentiment will be classified, right? Neutral or negative or positive. So from one language to other language, we need the information from the text. Here the decoder will be a label zone. So that will be a label, and the, so the red part is the, is the labels positive, negative, neutral, like that. And the, the blue part will be the soft part of the labels one of them matrix. And the red part is the one of them matrix. That's how it has to work, I guess. I can't say States. That is hidden. Yeah. So, red is that has to be the labels. So, we are feeding to the network all these words we add and then forming the embedding layer. On top of that, we are applying soft maps. 
and then getting the uh, the output which I think this 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 has anything like what kind of output we are getting this paper we have right uh, on the yeah, one more video. yeah no I'm saying any any details of details of that so what what feeling and um, so that of course one or zero and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's it. How the attention is applied to the for the sentiment analysis task, which is NLP task. See here, attention is again combined in RNN, which focuses on certain parts of the input sequence. In predicting the output. Here, like this approach, we can see as four step formula embed, encode, attend, and predict. I finished with them. I have a handsome exercise for that one, very small thing. Uh, any additions anybody want to make for this? Yes, diagram. I just looked at this paper. Yeah. Basically, the output here is a sentence embedding. Okay. What we are trying to produce is if you go to the original paper, the one you are yeah. See what is happening here is this is the, this is the output of this model. Okay. Like you, like we in NLP, we create word embeddings. Okay, so what we are trying to do create efficient sentence embeddings. The paper title is actually the paper title is structured self attentive self attentive sentence embedding. So output is actually not sentiment. Output is sentence embedding. Can we generate efficient sentence embedding which can then be used for other tasks such as author profiling, sentiment classification, sexual and it can be used for sentiment classification after creating the sentence embedding. So the, the, the problem statement is how to create effective and efficient sentence embedding. Okay. This is the objective of this architecture. From here, we'll take it for further processing of sentiment analysis technique or other tasks like author classification. So how they are producing efficient sentence embedding, what they are doing, they are creating this attention mechanism. By, so this is the architecture for creating this A output. See A, this A is here. So they are doing, they are taking weighted sum of hidden states. So they are applying a weight vector to all these hidden states, and then they are applying a softmax on that. Okay. So they are creating multiple, they are creating multiple, you know, attentions per hidden state, and this is calculated by taking a weight of the whole hidden matrix and then applying a softmax to get the final A. So this A is gotten by this mechanism for every hidden state. And then I'm multiplying this M B A into H. So there's a second weight vector which comes in now. I was just reading this paper on the fly. So I'm multiplying this A 
by H to get this M. So this is nothing but an efficient sentence embedding. If you know words, we create word embedding, lower dimensional word representation. For example, from a multi-dimensional text dictionary, we create 150 dimensions word embedding. Here we are creating sentence embedding. This in turn can then be used for sentiment analysis or other applications. Okay, so this is the objective of this paper and this project. It's actually a pretty advanced paper. I was trying to read it, so it's quite intricate what you picked up, but good work. So fine. Thank you. No, at least we are going on, so kindly continue. <laughs> you did pick up quite a complicated paper. <laughs> Yeah. You know, so many things I didn't understand. Yeah. Yeah, I have a hands on exercise for this one. In this exercise, uh, sentiment for a particular movie is done. Yeah, here we are getting the data. Then train. Here, attention layer it is defined. Embedded layer. Here, bidirectional LSTM is used. So, Can't see? Have to increase the font? No, you want. Should be increased. You can't see from there? Yeah, no control. Yeah. Yeah. Better? Or too much? <laughs> okay. Control minus. Okay, I think this is fine. So you can just explain some of the top slide. Here. This one. Where the embed layer. This is the one. The LSM by direction level. Here, attention is called. So, here, through attention, the 
function attention weights have been taken then it will be sent yeah This is a summary of the model. Madam optimizer, the model is compiled. So, model is set. Only two epochs are around this. I just took as it is, I have not made any modifications for that one. Let's give the accuracy for. Oh, what is output? How many labels are there in output? Oh, no. How, many? How many labels are there in output? Here only two. Positive or negative? Is... See, we use this model algorithm. For a are using this algorithm. For the sentiment, with the same data will be used for. Models for translation on the yeah yeah I'm done with it. Thank you. Why is loss NAN? Where is yeah, NAN? It is not giving the exact loss. See, basically, Mahesh, I think what happened, maybe it is it's trained with two epochs, na? So it is not showable as a number. It hasn't calculated the loss. If you train, let's say, 10,000 iterations or epochs, then maybe it will start showing the loss. So the loss was not yet calculated. So it's showing NAN. NAN means not, not indeterminate, not yet found. Any other questions from those on the webinar? Thank you. Thanks Vivek, Indrajit and Abdul for sharing the knowledge. Thank you all.